Hey guys, hopefully everyone's downloaded Sage and you've got the icon on your screen. So we're going to start up Sage and we're going to need to do the five steps. So we'll need to double click on the icon. When it opens up, you'll get a dialog box saying select your company. You'll get three options, demonstration data, which is basically Sage walking you around the system. Practice data, which is this one here, where the computer will give you tasks to do. But as we're learning how to use Sage, we will only ever go on into your company. If you've already used Sage before, it will have the company name that you've created. But do not ever go on demonstration or practice. When we click on enter your company name, you'll click OK. And Sage will open up. You'll get a logon request where you're asked for your login name and password. Hopefully everyone's done manager. And the password is password if you've done what I've asked or whatever the password was that you created. You'll get remembering of how many days you have remaining. When we've clicked OK, Sage will open up. You can click this dialog box and close it down. First thing we need to do is our five steps. So step one, we're going to go to file, maintenance and rebuild. We're going to take all the ticks out from all the boxes on your left hand panel. It is important that you remove every single box on the left hand panel as this will hold information on Sage that you may have already inserted previous times. When you've done that, make sure it's still on Soul Trader and then click OK. You'll get a dialog box saying, are you sure you want to do this? Well, yes, we do. Just a word of warning, in the real world, you never do the five steps. In the real world, you never do the five steps. While you're practicing at home or in college, you can do these steps as many times as you like, but never in the real world. So we'll say yes to that. And there you go, you saw the dialogue box, it's erasing everything on Sage. You may be asked, to, well you will be asked to put in your month and year, so you'll need to go and look at your paper for what month and year. In our case it's August, so you could press the letter A till you find August, or you could use the drop down arrow, or you could use your up and down arrows. The year, unless specified, otherwise it is 2020 but you'll need to read your paper. When you're done, click OK. The computer will say, are you sure this is the correct month and year? We're going to say yes. That's, that's step one now completed. Step two is inserting your company name. So we're going to go to settings, company preferences. Because you're using a demo one, you'll need to put in your password but when you do it in your exam or in college, you won't need to. So in here, you'll need to put in the name of your company. So on our paper, it's Time Net Limited, ensuring that you've used the uppercase and lowercase exactly how it is on the paper. Do not forget to put your initials and maybe your AAT number in at the end of the company name. In this paper we're doing, we don't have an address, but in your exam, you will be given an address. So you'll need to make sure that you put the address in, in street one, street two, town, county. For exam purposes, they're not worried whether you know it's a street, a town, a city or not. Just put the first line on the first line, the second line on the second line and so forth. But the postcode must go in postcode. When you're done, click OK. To know you've done it properly, you should see your company name and your name at the top. We now need to do step three. So we're going to go settings, configuration. You'll get the configuration editor. We need to go to tax codes. So we'll click on tax codes. And all we're checking is T1 and T9. T9 should always be at zero. And T1 should be at your VAT rate. For your exam, it will be 20%. If it doesn't say 20% here, then you'll need to go edit, change it to 20%. I'll do 17.5 just to show you. Click OK. You'll press apply. As it says here, apply, then save. So we're going to press apply and you'll see that's taken. 
and then say, as this is read only, they won't let us play about with it. But it has taken because if you look, our reply's gone non active. But I want to change that back to 20, so I'm just going to double click and press 20, go OK, and go save. Once I've done that, I'll close that down. Step four, we want to make sure our nominal codes have actually taken correctly. So we're going to go here where it says nominal codes. We're going to basically check that we've got from 0010 all the way down to 9999. If you have it from 0010 to 9999, then you have done your steps correctly and you can move on to step five. If you don't, you'll need to go and redo step one. Some of your screens may look like this when you go to check your nominal codes. Do not panic. It's on analyzer. Just change it to list and then your screen will look like mine. Step five, and this is the most important one if you want to pass with high marks for your exam. We want to make sure that our program is defaulted to the month and the year that we put in in step one. So we'll go settings and we'll go change program date. We'll say yes to that. And we want to put the last day of the last month. Sorry, last day of the month and the year that we're in, because if you look here, we're on the 23rd of July 2020, but our paper is August. So the last day of August is 310820. When you're done, you just click OK and you'll see that our date is updated. This means that when you're putting in your invoices, your credit notes, etc., the month and year will always be correct for you. So the only responsibility you have is to put in the correct date. And there we have it, our five steps. Whenever you start a brand new paper, these are the five steps that you need to do every time, but only when you start a brand new paper.